Dan Williams, Survive Outdoors. We're going to be talking about this guy right here. This bush and these berries. I've noticed that there are a ton of people in the last few weeks that are putting this bush and berries on uh, bushcraft sites. Can you eat the berries? Part of the reason they're doing that, you're getting a lot of hunters in the woods this time of year and there's these red berries are really shining bright and the reason why that is is most of the leaves are off the trees but this guy right here still has its leaves and its berries so what is that well we're going to get after it right now so this is an invasive honeysuckle bush that can grow grow to about 16 to 20 feet high uh, sometimes even 30 in rare instances they have red berries in the fall, winter. Birds will eat the berries. And I've seen some of these bushcrafters say, if the birds eat the berries, you can eat the berries. No, you cannot, and we'll get into that in a minute. The name of this is Loserum tetarum, or tetarica. There is also another species called Loserum arum, A-R-U-M. It's called a um, European fly honeysuckle. It's also called the uh, dwarf honeysuckle bush. And the berries on this are red. Birds do eat them. When I talk about the birds eating the berries, I need to really make an addendum on that. Very few birds eat these berries, and it has been shown that they're of little nutritional value to the birds. Now, we have seen cedar waxwings eat these berries, uh, and I'm sure there are others, but it is not, in other words, I'm, what I'm basically driving home here is these ornamental shrubs that were once put in round homes to look pretty, people can think, oh, I'm going to plant these, it's going to be great food for the wildlife and the critters. Other than deer eating the leaves, that's about it, guys, so be advised. But these berries are toxic. Now that's different than something being poisonous. Toxic means it's going to basically harm your system for a short term. Poisonous, the amount of the berries could create lethality. So these are toxic and two or three berries will definitely cause nausea and you will throw up. So no, you cannot eat these berries. Now on a honeysuckle, on these honeysuckles, you're gonna see they have opposing leaves. One leaf here on this side, one leaf on this side, and that's one of the ways that you can easily tell um, this honeysuckle bush from a native. The other one that's really easy to tell, one way you can tell a native honeysuckle bush from an invasive is you take the stem, break it, and, not that one, let's do this one over here, see if we can find it. You have to have an older stem for that to happen. Here we go. But if you look, it has a mild hollow core right down the middle of that stem. Right there. Do you see that hollow hole? There's a hollow hole right through the center of that stem. That is an invasive honeysuckle bush. Our native honeysuckle has a solid stem, and that's one of the main ways you can tell the difference. And the deer <clears throat> love these leaves, they will eat these, <clears throat> but um, they are really a pain in the butt because once they start, they will take over a woods in a heartbeat. Um, so that's it, that is the, the invasive honeysuckle bush. There's two or three different species. Uh, they're throughout the Midwest, Missouri, Indiana, Illinois, Minnesota, Michigan. Uh, and they're also been called Russian olive. Um, that is another term that they uh, have been called. But that's what it is. The dwarf honeysuckle bush. Be advised, do not eat the berries. Hey guys, keep your eyes on the horizon, your face to the wind. Keep your face out of these bushes. Take care. I'll see you next time.